What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today, uh, we've got some SBCs that I am going to get on with. Uh, you can't see right now in the top left hand corner, I'll show you in a second, but I'm at 1.837 million coins. Um, a lot of that is just from me grinding league SBCs. I've done, I completed the Scottish Premier League. I just, I'm committing to what we talked about yesterday. I'm committing to completing some of them because I want to stick with the five here. So Liganos, Saudi League, CSL, uh, Argentinian League and Super League. I'm going to try and rinse as many times as I can. And the high league ones, like the, um, like the top five leagues, I'm also going to do those because... I'll just get so many of their goals naturally. So I'm not going to focus on those ones though. What I'll do is like once I complete Serie A now, when I'm, I'll do the gold teams as, as and when I can. And then when I've done it all, I'll just buy the last team every time. So the uh, Hyundai A-League, the MLS, um, the J-League, the Eredivisie and the Championship and the Mexican League and the Pro League and the SPFL, I'm not going to do again. And we're going to use those bronzes in the upgrade packs and sell off everything else. However, first SBC we're going to do here today is going to be uh, the UEFA marquee matchups. I did this for relatively cheap. It's coming in like quite expensive, like 30,000 coins. What's interesting is people just, people don't abuse the system enough, man. Um, you know, I, I don't like knowing my luck now, he's going to be worth crazy amounts. But when I checked him a minute ago, yeah, see, he's up at like 3, 2.5k. He's expensive, he's 2k. Regardless, I'm turning this in. So this is why I wanted to show you the chemistry. I only had to buy one player here, which was Gabriel Jesus, and I paid 4.1k for him. So we're going to turn him in, get one UCL player pack. Um, and then we're going to turn in the Ajax Juventus. And I bought two Ajax players, uh, the striker up here. Uh, we picked up for 1,200. And the right mid here, we picked up for 1,200. Uh, Huntelaar is untradeable, which is why I'm happy to use him. And the rest of the team is just players that I had in the club already. So that gives us, obviously, the marquee matchups fully complete, which is very nice. Now, what I've already done is sell, sold off most of my English players, um, which is obviously very, very nice. Let's see what we get out of these packs. So even one walkout, they're all tradable. So any walkout here would be absolutely mental. What do we start with? No walkout. Come on, let's get a big board. Let's get like a nice 84, 85 rated high-end top five league card. Portugal, right mid, Porto, uh, 77, Hernani. Not what we're really looking for, is it? No, it's not. What's he selling for? Ooh, about a thousand coins. Very nice indeed. So that definitely wasn't worth it to start with. And these marquee matchups, I thought they were going to be super cheap. Um, as I said, they're coming in at like 30,000 coins. They're not super cheap at all. They're actually relatively expensive. Not really worth it, in my opinion, um, that's 85 Jonas though. That's really nice. That is really nice. And 85 rated there. And the Champions League card as well. Um, what's he selling for? Like 11,000 coins. I'm going to hold on to him for now because as always with these cards, they're always a little more, a little cheaper when these special packs are in store. And then obviously once this SBC runs out, um, they'll go cheaper. But 185 is good. If we could get another 84 or 85, uh, I'd be really, really happy. Savage, 84, very nice. Okay, so we've got 185 and 184, which is really going to bring a lot of our... Oh, two 84s in here. We get Ralph Farman. That's really unlikely, but very nice indeed. 7,000 coins for him, six worth fours. Again, I'll wait on that. I'm certain he'll go up. A Russian player as well. Is he still worth like a couple of K? No, he's not. He's 1,000 coins. That's not bad though. 185, 284. There's no walkout, nothing major like that. That's not bad. And what we're also going to do... Mm, maybe not in this video. I want to get this Carlos Vea done. The problem I'm having is it's 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 not expensive. I just can't be bothered to go and buy the players. I wanted to try and do it with players I had in the club, and I can't. I can't do it with players I had in the club. So I'm going to have to stop being lazy and go and buy some players for it. But in terms of English players, English players are selling for like two to four k now, depending on a range of things. And what's really interesting for me is even not now obviously the two Cardiff boys I'm not going to sell but I assume these rare English players especially the 74 rate ones are going to be going for a bit now these are cards that don't normally sell for anything really ever and so the fact that now we can get just a couple of k for them punching probably a little bit more because it's Premier League is quite nice uh yeah maybe maybe like 18 1700 coins there now as I say the the lower we go down the less they're going to sell right but they're still going to sell 
where this guy would never normally sell. Now he's going to sell for 800. And if I want to get Ramos ASAP, and let me tell you something, we're getting really close. You know, when we talked it about it in yesterday's video, we was at one, we just tipped over 1.7 million, I think. And now I'm almost at 1.85 million. And uh, it's the same day. Like I, I recorded that video. I'm recording this video late at night. And I recorded that video a little earlier. So I'm going to list all of these guys up just a little bit, just like one tick. You know, if they sell for 800, brilliant. If they don't, no problem at all. I'll put them back into the club if they don't sell. If they sell on open bid, uh, they wouldn't have sold really anyway. But I think the left wings and right wings, because I, I had just sold a left wing, I think, from Aston Villa. Uh, let's go and see if he's still selling for a lot. Like So Stuart Downing. See, Stuart Downing's not a lot. Not even 700 coins there. And I guess that's because he's not rare. But... This guy, I just sold for like two and a half K. And as you can see there, there's one at one nine, one at 900. I'll just list him up for like 1500. Is he selling because he's a left wing? Is he selling because he's in a, um, in a foot bin team? I don't know. But all of the English players right now will all sell for just some coins. And that's really exciting to me because whilst we do bronze packs, Gonna be uh it's gonna be really really easy. So Reese Nelson probably sell for a couple of K as well right now. Yeah, look at this. This is why, again, this is why the offline draft is really helpful. Um, because we get silvers that never usually sell that are now selling. And this is also why um got some Cardiff players here. I wonder if his price. He's relatively cheap, the Cardiff guys. I've only got Cardiff and Man City left to go. Um from the Premier League. I'm not going to do... Look at that, that tavern, Tavernier. Oh, straight away. I've got a lot of fitness cards back up again. And fitness cards are starting to sell well for me again. Um, I don't know why they're starting to sell well for me right now. Uh, I guess because squad fitnesses are just kind of like all over the place. Um, but yeah, we're up to like 18... 1.84 million. And and we've obviously got the, the 85 and the 284s that we just picked up. And I also packed Ben Sabiani from one of the League SBC packs. Now, he's not really worth that much. He's pretty much discard price. So for me, it's like there's no point getting rid of him now to get those coins back because uh, although he's terrible, he's, you never know when you're going to need him for something. And because I can always get those 15k coins at any time I want, I'm more than happy to leave him there. But yeah, I'm really happy. What I need to do now, I need to go and play lots of uh, Fuck Rivals games to get up to rank two. I'm a fair way away. I'm like 5,000 points away. So I'm, I'm going to be looking at a grind session here of games. Hopefully get myself some uh, some nice five goal wins to get like 950 points a few times. Um, if not, just scoring goals, even if we're losing, get ourselves four or 500 points. We've got still a long time. We've still got the whole day, all of Wednesday as well to grind through as well. Um, I'll be able to get there, obviously, no problem at all uh, for the one ultimate pack. I still need to score with Guarine one more time. Um, and then we'll push up uh, through the through the ELO. I kind of, like, during weeks where there are weekly objectives, I kind of want to, even if it is forcing myself, I kind of want to force myself to play champs more. Um, and the reason being is because if I just force myself to play champs more, even if I play on tilt and just lose loads of games that I could potentially win, simply playing will get me, like, if I played just five more games, I would get 2,000 more points, like, uh, on far, far Rivals. And I might have gone up to rank goal two, which would have been 15,000 more coins and a few better packs. If I managed to play 10 more games and got to gold one, or even if I played all 15 more games and only got to gold one, you know, let's say we finished 20 and 10, which I, you know, wouldn't even be opposed to. More coins, better packs, and an extra, uh, what, 6,000 foot champs points. So I think, I think I'm going to really, really do my best to force myself through 30 games a weekend again. And when I think about forcing through 30 games a weekend, I sit there and I think, man, this is like last year I would play. I would play usually to like 17 wins because that was what goal two was. So I'd play to like 17 wins, 18 wins, even if it was 18 wins, no problem. I'd go 18 and two, 18 and three. That's 21 games. That's nearly all of the games that we play now. And that was my like casual last year. So I, I've got to I've really got to get out of my head rewards and get into my head play because your team is sick and the only way i'll get better and hit elite comfortably every week even though we got it last week you know even though we got there by the skin of our teeth winning our last four games the only way to get there again and again and again is by pushing through and playing hard 
and enjoying this team. So when we get Sergio Ramos, which could be today, I'm like, I'm sitting here now and I'm thinking to myself, man, is now the time where I just go and discard some stuff um, and go and get that Sergio Ramos? You know, he's like, well, he, ooh, maybe not. Maybe, I mean, I could, but he went up to like, when I checked last, he went up to like 2.2 million. So I wonder if he if he's if he's under or around 2.1 million, I might be interested right now. No, he is 2.2 million. So for us to get this card, which is going to be the next addition to our team, and ooh, what a card. Um we need 200 and no wait. 350,000 coins. So even though I could get there, like I say, with discards and sales and stuff. Now is not the time. We're going to have to wait to, for reward day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and do the Carlos Vera SBC, guys. I will be right back. All right, guys. So I've done the first squad. I decided to go with the most difficult one first. Um, not too bad. I bought some players and then I didn't use them. I think I've actually done it. I have. I've done it with a full first owner squad in really, really weird fashion. And this is the beautiful thing about the league SBCs and why... Whilst doing this, I was going in my mind, I was like, dude, just keep doing what you're doing with all of the league SBCs because it allows you to do things like this just way better. Like, obviously, I did the Scottish League for a profit anyway. I did the Championship for a profit anyway. And so now to turn these players in and be able to pick them back up again whenever I want is really good. I just got Tierney today um, and he's going to be used for us. So every player is untradeable. We've got this, uh, sorry, his first owner. Some of them untradeable. Aguilar untradeable. I know you guys will be like, oh, not Lozano. He's untradeable. He's done nothing in my club ever. Um, even the inform is untradeable. So there's not a lot I could do here. I've got five untradeables and then some 83s outside of that. I was going to put Felipe Luis in. Uh, I was using Ben Sabiani for just a uh, price check. Uh, sorry, like ratings check. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I'd done all of this. I'm stupid for buying these. That's... Should have tried to figure it out a little bit quicker first. But uh, yeah, that's the first one and the main one done as well. Uh, we get the mega pack for this one. Hopefully we can hit something nice in the mega pack. It would be nice. Let's see if we can get ourselves a walkout. No walkout boards. Boards would be really nice, EA. Ah, oh, man. Let's get Hunters, Shadows, Center Forward to Cam Cards, um, Englishman. Wait, is Mina selling? No. Uh, is Schneiderlin selling? No. Um, contracts we're going to discard. Squad fitness is nice. I'll sell those. Uh, ooh, loads of squad fitness. Very nice. Left mid to left wing and left forward to... Left wing to left forward isn't too bad. Um, and then these guys, I'm, I'm just going to like... Put up. Now, the rest of what we need requires 82 rated squads. and Relatively low chemistry. Um, so, I might again go and take like my Australian League um, pink card. You know, League SBC card. Because it's 84 rated. He's never going to get used. And if I really, really desperately want him back, it'll be really, really easy to get him back. So I'm going to go and work on this and I will be right back. All right, guys. So that one was a bit of a tricky one to put together with items that I had in the club. I had to buy Paul Lopez in goal and Lenglet in at the right uh, back spot. I'm bang on 80 chemistry. I even converted uh, Oscar down to a centre mid. I'm using Balassi there um, in this one and the LA Galaxy up at right wing. And we're going to submit that squad home. Only gives us a seven and a half K pack, but you never know, you know. we like we always say, if you luck's in, you luck's in, and our luck's not in on this occasion. Uh, we don't even get a rare gold. Hopefully, a center forward to cam card or like a four K coin unlock or something like that would be quite nice. Fitness card again. Oh, a right mid from England, Stanislas coming in at like two point five K. Very nice indeed. Um, yeah, squad fitness card as well. Not bad. The Premier League manager still sell no. Uh, so we'll discard all of that. I'll take care of those items on my own time. And Sandro can go in. And that leaves one more team needed now for Carlos Vera. So I'm going to go and complete that. And I will be our B. All right, guys. So the last segment was the easiest one of them all, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, an 82 rated squad is all that's needed. I uh, used 83 Adarese, 83 Suso, and 83 Bauman that I just had sitting in the club. They gave me the luxury of using the 80 rated uh, Piatti there. And then just 81s and a couple 82s outside of that. Mostly Spanish as well. Uh, so one more premium gold pack. Uh, probably a lot of people uh, off, after watching me recently are going to be sitting there saying like, why are you doing this? I thought you wanted to go away from, um, you know, away from untradables. And yeah, ultimately I do. 
What I like a lot about this Carlos Vera card is number one, he gives me an option if I want to use Zlatan Ibrahimovic. You know, am I really ever going to do it? No, but during those times where you can't use major league cards, now Ibra and Vera together are going to be very, very nice. Um, the other thing that I like about this is this is coming in with a price at 73,000 coins. I don't know how much it's cost us in terms of actual sellable cards. You know, I used a lot of untradables mostly. I probably did it for, let's say, around 30 to 50k sellable items that I, that I used. Um, you know, so I could have got an extra 50k toward um, Sergio Ramos. But the price of 88 rated cards right now are 40k. So even then, when I do another big SBC, if I wanted to use this Carlos Vea card, that's now a 40k card that I've got. And it's a special card as well. So if VA ever require that as, a, as an option... That's brilliant. But he has multiple uses, and I feel like he will serve multiple uses for the club um, over the course of the game. Now, it's not a card that you get too much out of in terms of playability for one reason, and that's his stamina. Um, Two-star weak foot isn't great, but 5'10", high-low, very nice. Four-star skill moves, very nice. His card in general is very nice. 76 stamina, not the worst. And with my bench, I could start him and um, sub him out for somebody else, you know? So we got the... Uh, <laughs> The gold pack, but hey, if your luck's in, your luck's in. How are we doing, EA? Oh, just once I want to be that guy. Come on now, give me boards. Oh, at least we've got a rare gold. Hopefully an English rare gold. Hopefully like a Jordan Henderson or something would be nice. No, we get Vierinha. And that is, that's a woeful pack. That is fair enough. That is a shocking pack. Um, We'll keep Vierinha though. Uh, we'll list these guys up for just a few hundred coins. Get a little something back for those. Nothing major. Uh, Carlos Vera now, of course, in the club, in the bank. Uh, two items sold now. Did one of those guys sell straight away? No, there's that green. I told you, man. 1,500 coins. He's selling. I don't know why he's selling for so much, but he's selling. I've got bang on 3,500 players. Oh, that's fantastic. So if we go to the player search and look at the MLS players that we now have, guys, I don't know which ones I used and which ones I didn't. There you go. So we've got four, and we can use those in a really good quartet, you know? Um, none of them strong linked to either of the rest of them. I've I've used Michael Bradley now. I got rid of him. But Ibrahimovic, Bayer, Martinez is good, not great. Schweinsteiger is okay. I'm very excited for the twelfth in two days' time, or by the time you're watching this tomorrow on Friday, whenever Friday is, uh, might be tomorrow, might be the day after. Schweinsteiger is going to get the screamer update. He's going to get two ninety nine rated stats. I don't know what they're going to do for him. His pace is so slow in the base card. I hope they give him like ninety nine pace and ninety nine defending. That would be amazing because you could give him a maestro then and just make him a legit card. Um, but yeah, so the screamer boosts are coming soon. Uh, that is going to be um, the end of the squad building. I've now got to go and get my one goal with Guarin and the win and just some points. So there's going to be some gameplay for the rest of this video. I will be right back. All right, guys, as we go into the gameplay, uh, the first opponent we come up against got a really, really good team. I assume he doesn't usually use the red informs and he's just using them for the weekly objective, which is grand. Um, but that is a team and a half. Am I right? Anyway, I've got to get into the comments real quick. First one is from Mikel Baski. He says, bought Ronaldo, then sold Ronaldo. Must be A9 skills, Kappa. And I realized you're just like, like you know, making a joke. But I, I feel like I can kind of explain AA's mindset a little bit more because he gets sometimes a little bit of grief for buying and selling players. But I hope you guys understand through me buying and selling Ronaldo why he does it. Because I bought Ronaldo because I thought he would be amazing for my squad and would be an upgrade to my team. And he just wasn't. And so it wasn't beneficial for me to hold on to him. And I get to explain that to you guys in depth and in detail because of the style of series we have. But with AA, if he buys a big player, Prime Eusebio or 99 Pele or something, and he plays two or three games with him, and he's in his mind, he's like, look, this just isn't what I'm looking for. I, I need something different here. I, I thought that this would be the improvement to that position that I needed, and it wasn't. Or having Pele means that somebody else moves position and they were way better in that other position. You know, like for me with Ronaldo and Henri, I, I don't have room for two strikers, and it's a waste to have one of them at Cam. And so AA will buy Pele, he'll try Pele for a few games, he'll immediately realise, oh, this guy's not for me, and he'll sell Pele. It, you, you guys shouldn't see that as a negative, you should see that as a positive that he's trying to find the best team. Um, but anyway, Dylan says, Nep, any idea when team of the season may arrive? 
by the way i love your videos keep up the good work well thank you for the kind words man um i don't know man like i honestly thought in two days we'd get team of the season the 12th but i'm now starting to think that the reason why i thought the 12th is because we have a lot of international football this year and last year team of the season came early because of international football and uh ea don't ever go two weeks without a promo um well, they haven't done at all this year anyway. At least something, somewhere. And so I'm sort of like sitting there looking at the calendar and thinking to myself like, oh, maybe team of the season will be earlier this year. There's international football. We'll get like another, uh, uh, you know, festival of fuck style event later on in the year. And so team of the season will come early. And as we are right now, you know, the season is almost done. Like we can confidently and competently predict the team of the season players. However, uh, last year they didn't give us team of the tournament for champions league this year maybe they will um and although we're only at the quarterfinal stages which is for me way too early to to guess it makes me feel like we won't get anything this coming friday or at least nothing major next friday we might get a team of the tournament because then it's just the semi-finals and final to go and then two weeks after that we'll get team of the season so my opinion, team of the season is probably going to be about the 3rd of May, maybe the 10th of May. But I think in between now and then, we're going to get at the very least the team of the tournament and maybe some other small promo because EA, to be fair to them, have done well during this dead week, during this non-promo week. They've done really, really well to give us a whole bunch of SBCs. We've had uh, UCL marquee matchups back. We had the two new live items. We had that Karen Benzema that I do think is a waste of coins, but he's there if you wanted him. We've got the Carlos Vea player of the month, the Aaron Ramsey end of era, the six icons, and we could get six more icons on Friday. That'd be pretty cool. The Champions League upgrade, sorry, the Foot Champions upgrade SBCs. Um, and what else have we had? Yeah, so we've had all of that in an off week. And that's all right, man. If they continue that level of content throughout the dead weeks, it's enough to keep this game interesting between now and the next big promo um the next comment is from uh, toby unwin he says why ramos and lala instead of van dyke and trent when you say that van dyke is the best center back and i couldn't figure out for the life of me why there was a good reason i was sitting there on stream one day and we went through everything and we tried to figure out what the reason was that i well we looked at taking van dyke as an option and van dyke and trent combined are about the same price as Ramos and so now I'm sitting here and I've just had a look and I can build a really good team I can afford Van Dyke straight away I would have to get informed Trent until I could afford um, FFS Trent but I'm not far off of that and I could get Van Dyke now and I'm like oh I really was sit I was sitting there I just spent when I read that comment I spent like 10 minutes looking at my squad going like why why am I saying Ramos what is the what is the core process to there's that word again. What is the core process to having Ramos and not anybody else? And I just I couldn't for the life of me figure it out. And so I did a little bit of uh, maneuvering my team around and stuff. And I can get everybody on 10 chem with the exception of Gareth Bale and David De Gea. And that's okay. So I think tomorrow you're going to see a brand new team with a brand new team of the year. And maybe an FFS right back if I can afford him. If I want to like just scrounge for him and start discarding uh, items joe says i know i'm saving my packs for team of the season uh project team of the season for him and have 52 so far i'm really happy that i haven't been tempted to open them all i'm just wondering do you think that they'll do a festival of fuck this year as if they are i'll wait to open the packs then but if not when should i open them prem team of the season if they're going to do festival of fuck when will they announce it keep up the amazing content well first of all uh thank you for the kind words second of all you're asking me questions i just can't possibly know the answer to i don't know when team of the season is coming i don't know if they're going to do a festival of fuck style event and if they did i don't know when it's going to come i can tell you that i think they will because a they've been giving us unbelievable amounts of promos this year and there's no way that it'll be like oh after team of the season no more sorry guys so something will come i'm almost certain of it b it was such a hit last year that um I can't see them saying, oh, no, that was so successful last year. Let's not do that again. But in terms of saving your packs, don't save them for that late in the game, man. Because, I t like, cards are worth nothing back then. 
uh, you know, at that end of the that end of the game. And there's so much available in the game on a day to day slash week to week basis that you could just generate so many packs anyway, and you'll end up packing a whole bunch of good stuff anyway. So I would say if you're doing project team of the season, pick the team of the season, pick the league that your team is most dominant from and open them for that. So if you've got mostly Premier League players, open all your packs for Prem team of the season. If you've got mostly Syria players, open your packs for Syria team of the season. That's what I would personally say. And then last but not least is from Luigi Diaz. He says, Nep, you can use the scoop mechanic to do crosses without the five star skillers. Just as effective as the Tornado. So broken. And I'm going to have to try that. Uh, I have seen uh, Tex do the the pop-up with it. The thing that concerns me a little bit is the fact that it takes about an extra half a second to do because the the Balassi Flick and El Tornado are fluid motions that you don't need to stop and then do uh, button mechanics for. Whereas the scoop, you have to kind of like get yourself to a standstill or a very slow walking position and then scoop it and then cross it. And it takes that little bit extra length where I don't know if it'll be too efficient. But I'm going to start trying it, that's for sure. This time, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.